Hello, wonderful people of the internet. I'm back, and I brought cake to apologize for the radio silence. Between starting a new job with a long commute, some technical issues, and the reopening of society, I unfortunately had to skip on making videos for a while. But I think that this amazing cake that I made for my husband's birthday earlier this year will make up for my laxness. For the birthday cake, the request was simple. A delicious cake that could be made into 4x4x4 four by four by four centimeter cubes for a total of 27 identical cubes because it was my husband's 27th birthday and he wanted to celebrate the fact that 27 is one of quite few cube number birthdays that we get to experience. Can you tell that we're kind of a nerdy household? <laughs> but I took the challenge and the result came out amazing. Perfectly moist with tons of flavor and great possibilities for healthification. So let's check it out. First off, I'm doing a double portion due to the shape requirements for the cake, but I would normally recommend doing about half of what I made. So I'm including it as an option in the ingredients list. Preheat your oven to 100 degrees Celsius or 356 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm doing seven eggs and then I add about three deciliters of sugar before beating it with my standing mixer. When it's fluffy but not super stiff, switch the whisk for a paddle attachment and add your two deciliters of milk. This works perfectly well with plant milk. Mix it in before adding in a combination of one deciliter melted butter and one deciliter of mascarpone cheese. If you want to healthify the cake, switch this for an equal amount of Greek yogurt instead. Finally, we blend in our dry ingredients, which consist of 8 deciliters of flour, 4 teaspoons baking powder, 1 teaspoon baking soda, a pinch of salt, and 2 teaspoons of vanilla. And now it's time for the flavorings. First, a few tablespoons of lemon juice and the zest of 4 lemons. Follow that with 6 deciliters of ground pistachios, which we fold into the batter. Then we spread the finished batter out in the greased pan with parchment in the bottom for easy extraction later. Place it in the middle of your oven for anything between 30 to 50 minutes, depending on the size of your pan and the temperament of your oven. But what we're going for here is golden and the fork should come out batter free. While the cake cools, we make our frosting. If you want to healthify the cake further, you can replace the frosting with a simple lemon and icing sugar glaze, adding in a little bit of limoncello if you're feeling frisky. If you're going for frosting, add your four deciliters of heavy cream to your standing mixer and beat until you have a solid whipped cream. While the cream whips, take two deciliters of room temperature mascarpone, mix together with one deciliter of lemon juice, and then add powdered sugar until you have a creamy, semi-solid consistency. Grate in the zest of one lemon, and then gently fold this mixture into the whipped cream until you have a lovely, smooth, and silky frosting. By now, your cake should be nice and cool, so cut it into your required pieces for assembly. As you can see here, I went in with a ruler and a lot of enthusiasm to ensure that the cake fulfilled the requirements of being a cube birthday worthy. Then I cut them out and glued them together with lemon curd. Lemon curd was a scrumptious flavor element in the total cake, so I definitely recommend using it as an in-between layer if you're going for a two or three layer cake. When all the cubes are stacked, it's time for frosting. I'm using a flower tip here for some pretty curly stuff, but mostly I have no idea what I'm doing. When the cake is all covered in frosting, bring out your last deciliter of crushed pistachios and sprinkle along the edges. I think it adds some nice texture to the overall look, as well as a little bit of color. And that's it! A birthday cake fit for kings! Of course, I forgot to take a video after I removed the scaffolding, but you get the idea here. It looked scrumptious even though I'm not good at cake decoration. So I hope you liked it. Now get cooking, enjoy, and take care.